Hello guys, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about some of the bugs I found on Android M for the LG G4. Uh, first of all, I found um, you know, a bug in the contacts. I mean, I don't have that bug anymore, it disappeared on its own. But when I tried to load up my contacts, it would say US SIM contacts loading, but it wouldn't actually always load my contacts. Uh, like when I would exit out of the contacts and you know actually you know force close it and then wait five or ten minutes the contacts would actually open and then say like I go into the contacts again in five minutes time it would say you you sim contacts loading again so it worked very inconsistently for me um, I think this could have been because you know when you just update your phone software it does take two or three days for your phone to adapt to the changes and right now I don't have any of those issues it actually fixed which is pretty good another issue which I have as well is inconsistent battery life I do know on Android M that battery life is supposed to be better because it keeps all the apps idle and it doesn't run in the background unless you relaunch it I mean on screen time even currently now is really unpredictable um, you know from like 100 to 0 I would get about 2 hours on screen time on average now I did get about the 3 hour mark before the update um, and you know when it you know the battery starts to work better I get 2 and a half hours of on screen time so it's really unpredictable I mean, it does depend on usage, but in both occasions, my usage was very, very similar, so I doubt it would have made a significant issue. I mean, if you do, like, you know, receive software bugs at first for the Android M update, give it two, three, four days, even a week to, you know, update. And, you know, for, for like the software to get used to all the new processes, all the new apps, and it should work better. Because it, with the new software update, you haven't launched, you know, the apps on that particular update. It does sometimes launch it incorrectly or the system functions don't work as well. It takes about a week, you know, for it just to adapt to the hardware as well. So give it about a week. If you're having any major issues after a week, then I would say, you know, the software bugs are to stay. I mean, with me, they all disappeared apart from the battery issue. This could also be because, you know, most most app updates are not um, for Android M yet. So this could be another issue. Uh, I mean, they slowly will start to update the apps and the battery life would probably increase for your phone once they... Uh, release the relevant updates according to Android M software version. I mean, if you're also having you know problems problems with the contacts and you need to use it urgently, I I download like a third party app. I downloaded Google's own you know ha Hangout Styler, which I use to access my contacts in the meantime till you know you know things fixed up. So, you know, just, you know, see how it goes. If it really doesn't work for you, then I recommend you downgrade the software. I mean, if you're having an issue with the contacts as well, there's a possible fix which might make apps more stable. Uh, I could show you. Go into settings. I think it was on apps, if I remember correctly. configure apps okay you can choose um, any apps to ignore like battery optimizations and all you would do is simply you know tick it if you're having any app issues just tick it and you know reboot the phone and see how it performs it may fix it because sometimes some apps might not work as well with some of the optimizations so that's about it guys, let me know what you think um, 
be quite beneficial if you let me know some of your on-screen times, um, how you know it's performing with Android M. So you know, thanks for watching, guys, and please do comment on the section below. Thanks, guys.